For groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, Lady Breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When is it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! Luffy must be... Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them.
Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. you to stay in bed I was only up for a little look your fever hasn't gone down a bit go lie down and I'll cook dinner I'm sorry what's this a compass it uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing woohoo you can use the Sun and stars for that and what will you do if it's cloudy huh Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur is Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy said. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. <sighs> 